Hey guys, Dexter here from uh, Dexter's Workshop. Um, couple of days ago, I've decided to go ahead and build a small filter, a small bandstop filter for the FM broadcast. And of course, this was the first one. And uh, th some mistakes were made because the the coils were a little bit bigger in value than uh, it should. And uh, that that throws off uh, the filter quite 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 a lot. Uh, yes, it's m much nicer than this one here. But uh, well, this one is the second version, and it's basically uh, Chebyshev Order Three uh, band stop filter. So it's nothing too fancy but I've decided this one to to build it uh, using uh, spider technique or in air or whatever lump how, how you'd like to call it so I've used some PCB uh, clad and uh, just just uh, add the, the parts and also the coils which had to be tuned after that because of course they weren't quite in the point also I had a very bad surprise with some ceramic capacitors which uh, well they were they were quite a lot out of values and a lot of high tolerances so I had to add some supplementary ones just to bring the filter in the point that it was designed to so uh, I'm using a uh, mini VNA Tiny for this measurement and at this particular moment the filter shape and response it's kind of the same with the one that that was designed but for the, the sake of it I wasn't able to bring uh, the worst the worst uh, attenuation it's uh, marker 4 so about 20 28 29 db i couldn't get any lower than that with this particular uh, topology or this particular parts which are not the best and high quality high quality parts um, okay as for the simulation i've used rf99 rf sim 99 actually sorry uh, which works also on Windows 10, but it's having some troubles with the screens. So I've decided to run it on my Windows 6P uh, virtual machine, so nothing fancy. It's a very nice uh, simulation program, so if you, it's free, of course. So yeah, uh, this is the filter response. It's kind of the same. Uh, I've designed this to keep away the FM stations out of my SDR input because uh, it was constantly overloaded by the FM broadcast. My uh, goal is not to actually bring the FM broadcast down because that would imply uh, either a uh, more compact, complex filter or uh, some kind of active filter, I don't know. But uh, I'm quite sure that uh, maybe with a higher order filter it, it would be better, I don't know. Uh, but I wanted to bring down the FM broadcast to a level in which images will not appear along the... Uh, IF uh, mixing band so uh, if let's say I had a, a broadcast that was 106.7 I would see an image at uh, 120 26.7 okay so I, I wanted this out of the way because it would constantly overload the front end and after that it will uh, overload the ADCs and uh, everything will go crazy and berserk after that and uh, basically uh, 
the noise floor would also be a little bit higher and you'll have reflection all over the place and stuff like this uh, and yes I'm using it with uh, Hacker F1 which is not the best actually uh, which is not the best um, choice um, I'm, I'm looking for a, an SDR Duo or an SDR DX at this particular moment, but uh, I would like to experiment a little bit more with HackerF. So, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, take care.